They all turned at once. <laughs> That's really funny. Groan! Can I have something thrilling planned? I want the comic book club to create their own comic book hero. Creeperific. I'm so gay that the... Whoa, no, he's not. Mattel that's, wouldn't let them. That's a, <laughs> Mattel wouldn't let him be gay. He's that's not gay the company wouldn't all. let me be gay on TV. <laughs> I can already imagine a hero with the balance of a tightrope walking werecat. Okay, I thought he was going to say a tight ass. That too. You Ooh, a free spirit who can squeeze in and out of even the tightest spots imaginable. Then you see her like slowly like cross her legs. What are they talking about? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. She's like, I'd love him to rub my lamp. What about a singer that can change people's moods simply by humming the perfect tune? Is she the, um, the Phantom of the Opera's daughter? Yes. I'm glad the Phantom of the Opera got laid after everything he had to go through. I'm I think glad he did, too. That's it like the, the true joy of this canon, is the Phantom of the Opera got puss. It was pretty traumatic for him after those events. Well, he had a lot of crap happen to him just for having, like, his face be deformed a little bit. That's really upsetting. Yeah, like, and he couldn't even get any, you know, he couldn't get any action, and I'm glad he did. That's all. Grown. What uh, amazing suggestions. Dead Fast is my favorite comic book hero because he is brave, dashing, and most of all, incredibly fast. It would appear that we all prefer heroes who are not like ourselves. I thought she was fast. She's a fast thinker. That's true. Is that really true? Grown. You talked about a hero with an uncanny ability to excel in tight places. Well, is it not true that you experienced claustrophobia? Oh, does she experience claustrophobia because she was in a bottle? Like a genie in a bottle? I think so, actually. Somebody's talking. They want to be in it. They said, hello, I'm in this Let's Play too." They're fighting. Oh, that's true. Wait, Nathan, you said balance. Yeah, I did. Hmm, I guess it's probably because of my two left zombie feet. It makes perfect sense. Wow, Gulia, you really know comic books. Groan. How about you, Aurora Drake? What kind of powers do you think that our superhero should have? Let us choose from some options. Super speed or super intelligent? I'd pick super speed. Do you want super speed? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that one. Groan. A superhero after my own undead heart, but do they fight a crime using their wits or their fists? Wits. Fists. Wits. Why wits? Because Gulia likes wits. Alright. Fantastic. A super fast hero that uses their wits to take down crime. That sounds great. What does everyone think? I like fists. Ferocious. I wonder what it says about Aurora Drake's flaws. Well, that's mean. Hey. Probably nothing, but I sure do love the song that this character is singing. Aww. Yada hoo da day, yada hoo da doo. You know, uh, there's a lot of characters you like that fight crimes with their wits. Yeah, but they also use their fists. Why can't he do both? Well, it wasn't an option for both. Oh. Uh... Yeah, me too. I can imagine how they use their freaky fab powers to their advantage. The best superpower is money, though. Grown. So now that we know the powers, our hero needs a heroic name. Aurora Drake, pick a name for the hero. Um, do not type a slur. Ah, just having a nice, refreshing drink. Uh, let's see. No, it's not poop. Poopy. Oh. No, this is a bad name. Poopy. Man. What about Mike Oxlong? No, that's not nice. Neither is Poopy Man. <laughs> it's pronounced Poopaman. That's I just on a first name and a last name. We need like something like Superman. Mm. Something cool. Oh, that's an unsatisfying sound. It is an unsatisfying sound. It makes me upset. We need something good. Captain Largeman is attacking my stuff. I have one! What? Captain Largeman! That's not gonna fit. Captain Largeman! That's Cosmo. <laughs> Cosmo's our superhero. He's fast and he's not very witty, but he tries his best. That's true, he's not very witty, is he? I know, but he tries his best. When are we gonna get out of the world's longest conversation here? <laughs> I don't know. Large. Ah, uh, do do just M N, Largeman. <laughs> Largeman. 
Yay, Captain Lurchman. That's a good one. Yay. <laughs> what a dumb name. That's okay. Captain, Captain Largeman? What an interesting name. Do you think it suits? <laughs> it sure does. Captain Largeman is a scary, awesome name for our hero. Yeah, okay. Groan! If everyone is happy with that, then I will start drawing up some sketches. Everyone put your heads together and think of a way to promote the comic book. The chronic book? The comic book. Okay, so I had something I wanted to talk to you. Okay, well, she can't chat right now. What do you want to talk to me about? Uh, about Twitter. Am I in trouble? No. Uh, this isn't important. We've already talked to him about this. No, I wanted to talk to you about Twitter. Okay. So, do you think... Keep an eye out for Captain Largeman at Monster High. We're about to go viral. What's Captain Largeman? <laughs> <laughs> and then he texts back a picture of Cosmo. Being large. <laughs> Insert picture of Cosmo here. That's how he fights people. He fights people with both his non-existent wits and his large tummy. The music changed. Check the phone. Check the phone. There's been updates in our social circle. Phone. The social. Down. Bottom. Jillian. Yeah, but it doesn't have a notification on it. But it, but it beeped. Yeah, but it has nothing on it. <clears throat> so here's my question. What do you think about people paying $8 a month for Twitter? And here's the justification for it. I don't know if it'll change by the time we put this up. This might date the Let's Play. I'm willing to say it's November 6th right now. Mm -hmm. The justification is that paying $8 a month will make it so that there's less trolls and throwaway accounts telling people to kill themselves and, like, being pedophiles and just all kinds of crazy shit like that. Uh-huh. Uh, because people will have to pay money to show up higher in the Twitter search results. Uh -huh. So there's a couple of things here. First off, Elon Musk bought Twitter with the explanation of like promoting free speech, right? Uh -huh. um, but so far, there's which a lot... I agree with him about. Well, I agree it's a good thing to promote, but there's a lot of people who are very angry about the paying thing and saying, well, if you have to pay to have more of a voice, then that's not free speech. If some people just have more of a voice than others, that's already the problem we had. I'm the teacher now. <laughs> Sounded racist. It's already the problem we had before. You know what I mean? Don't run around so fast. Someone is going to get hurt. I like he, Mr. Rotter. Then he pulls part of a gun out. He's like shows you the handle of the and, gun. And he shows you his rotter. No, I don't want to see his rotter. Um, so that's that's the uh, the benefit. Or basically, a sort of explanation for and against it. By the way, mm -hmm. I neither love nor hate Elon Musk. I don't know him. There's I, been some things he's done that I disagree with. I think he's one of those billionaires that isn't nearly as bad as somebody like Jeff Bezos. And I feel like he, for the most part, seems to try his best to do things that aren't horrible for the environment. Whereas somebody like Jeff Bezos literally like doesn't... Well, now, hold on. Let's not get sued by Jeff Bezos here. Well, he literally... Like, In your opinion. Re recently, there was an article about how there was a bunch of women... Um, who worked for him, who chronically oh, I saw this. chronically got UTIs because he wouldn't let them go to the bathroom. And the way to get to the bathroom from the laundry room was to climb out of a window. This is like Lex Luthor super villain shit. That's it why was so it's, fucked it's, up. It's not funny, but it is funny in how absurd it is and the fact that it's reality. So like, I, there's an evil man like that, and then there's Elon Musk. I feel like I'm okay with Elon Musk. Well, let me just say that there's a lot of dick riders for Elon Musk who think everything he does is perfect. I don't I, think you should dick ride anybody. Neither do I. However, I also don't think he's the super villain that some people make him out to be. Let's talk to the main girls. It's too nice of a day for school. Oh, th this is just what they say. The main girls should have more lines. They're the main girls. I agree. They're I the feel main like, cast. I feel like they should talk with their voice actresses to you as well. It just seems like they don't have much going on in this other than Cleo. Like, Claudine's yeah. been in the game, what, for, like, two minutes? Less than. Like, why? I don't like, know. She's one of my favorites. Dracula's barely been in the game, too. So is Frankie. Re yeah, really, only Cleo's really been in the game, actually. And yeah. I'm very upset about it. Anyway, so my point is, I don't fully agree with everything he's done. Here's an example, if you want an example, because I think people think, because I defended him buying Twitter, that I really love him. Mm -hmm. I don't love him or hate him. Like, here's an example of something he did that I don't agree with. There was this whole thing about him going to another country, and I'm going to butcher this story. Go up the ladder and get the get the coins up there. 
But basically what ended up happening was this dude criticized him. I believe there was a bunch of guys trapped in a mine shaft or something like that and he tried to help with it. And this rescue worker type guy criticized him and said he didn't help and he was just in the way. Mm. And Elon made some comment uh, basically akin to like, well, this guy just goes to Africa to like sleep with underage people. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like a good thing to say, okay? Mm -hmm. And I think he got sued. I think he paid the guy a settlement, um, which is something that happens a lot now. If you say something mean about somebody, you have to give them money. Mm -hmm. However, also worth noting, saying something like that could ruin someone's life. So that's not a very good thing to say no. as, like, just a statement, No, right? you shouldn't uh, say stuff like that unless you know for sure and have proof. So there's stuff that he said and done I don't love, and then there's also stuff he said and done that I do agree with. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm kind of sitting here seeing both sides of it, where I'm like, well, look, there's a lot of people, like, anyone I see pay for Twitter, I'm just going to make fun of. I also, I, I also think he named his kid the most stupid name of all time. True. But I also think, too, for me, it's weird because it's like, well, I don't make fun of these people who pay for Netflix, um, you know, like, a, I'm trying to think of Disney Plus, uh -huh. uh, high speed, internet, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. like all these things I don't think I need. Mm -hmm. I don't need those things every month. I try and get Disney Plus to watch a show and binge watch it and then get rid of it. You know, so like for me, that's a waste of money to me, but I don't make fun of anyone for it. So like when people are saying like, I'm going to go around and make fun of everybody who buys Twitter and like Elon's killing the platform and this and that. I'm kind of like, well, I understand why you wouldn't want to pay for Twitter, but like, I also think it just kind of makes you look like a little bitch if you're going to make fun of people for how they spend their money. Cause I'm sure like if I dug through everybody who's saying that I could find some real fucking stupid stuff they're spending their money on. Can I talk now? Yeah, but you kept interrupting me and not letting me finish my, my thing. I was trying to give you all the information of everything going on with People saying, I'm going to make fun of everyone who does it. Elon saying it's going to help. People saying it's just going to silence people. Because oh. the whole thing is this is buying... If you move that, you can go up and get more. This is buying verification. This is buying a blue check mark. Mm. That's what it is, mm. is. You will get a blue check mark. Like those verified assholes. Yeah. When you... Um, which some aren't assholes, but a so, lot of them were. So supposedly people who are actual like figures so like a lot of people were concerned about the fact that like somebody could just buy the the verification thing and have like their account be like verified kanye west and then you wouldn't know who the real kanye west was today he announced that anybody who is impersonating another account without making parody very clear on their account will be permanently banned yeah and so they also said that is to combat that too like you know how underneath the president it says like this guy is a u.s government official mm -hmm. it'll say stuff like that under celebrity people's names too i don't think we need to go that way okay so i thought that that was kind of interesting and i think it's a little bit dumb to have everybody have a blue check mark i feel like people who pay for it should have a different color check mark and then like the actual verified people who are like those celebrities and stuff should have the blue check mark that you that way you can have a difference i feel like that and, would be a good idea but then maybe you have to pay for either of them and i also kind of thought that when um that when elon musk came you know into ownership of twitter i thought that because he was talking so much about free speech that he was gonna bring trump back and I know a lot of people find that really controversial, but I feel like it's a little bit embarrassing to have one of our presidents be banned from Twitter just because he said something somebody didn't like, especially well, when our country is supposed to be like freedom of speech. Well, yeah, but then in, in that same argument, people are saying, well, now hold on. If this is about freedom of speech, why do you have to pay for freedom of speech? That's also my problem, too. I was getting to that is I don't think you should have to pay for the freedom of speech um, and to have people be able to see you better. I understand not wanting to have some of those troll accounts, but I think maybe they should just have some of their, um, like, security systems better, if that makes sense. Like, when you report somebody on Twitter, a lot of times you have to report that person as spam. If you report them for, like, something egregious, like a hate crime and stuff, Twitter's robots won't do anything about it, usually. Um, I know that because I have tried it before with certain accounts that have done bad things to people. Like, you can report some people for bullying and stuff, and then the accounts won't, like, the bots won't do anything about it, but then you can try to report them for being spammers, and then the accounts, I mean, the robots will be like, oh, well, I guess we'll get rid of this person. I've actually noticed that's improved in the last 
week. Which is interesting, because there was an account, like, telling people to go kill themselves. And I said, I figured, you know what, I'm just going to report this, because I'm really tired of people unironically saying this. Because, mm-hmm. like, it's just boring. It's a, a stupid-ass insult, and a lot of people who suffer from depression actually do end up killing themselves because people say that shit. Uh-huh. So I was like, well, whatever, this person's a fucking idiot. I'm just going to report them. So And I, they actually got their account locked. That was this last week. I think that security stuff should be a little bit tighter. Like, it's... it's so- starting to be Mm -hmm. i think that if you have a bunch of people start paying for twitter blue and stuff like that then you're going to have that i'm trying to get up there i know sorry i was just telling you on the other side there's a coin so you're gonna start having that precedent of like oh okay people are gonna pay for this even if we don't really add a whole much whole lot to it so let's just make everything on instagram paywalled let's make everything on facebook paywalled and then next thing you know every single social media site that you once enjoyed for free is going to be paywalled yeah but i kind of wonder if they'd be better experiences if they were paywalled believe it or not was youtube red a better experience yes it genuinely is a much better experience i just don't pay for it because i'm poor how is it a better experience no ads you can download videos and watch them on the go if you want to Mm-hmm. Literally zero ads anytime. I didn't know that. Download videos, listen to music in other windows, like I, offline and stuff. I thought it was just like some of those shitty like production TV shows. You that also they, get those that they did for YouTube Red exclusively, and I was like, oh, they're just cutting people out of content, whatever. Well, let's talk to Rebecca, but I wasn't trying to rebut you. I really do think YouTube Red though, and Premium or whatever it's called, is a good experience. I just don't pay for it. 